Fonters, it's Shelly from the Fit to Font app, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be helping you with your first routine on spin pole. So this is perfect for those of you that have been doing static pole, you're ready to transition to spin, but it seems a little intimidating. This routine is gonna help you take it slow and understand how to incorporate some of the moves you already know into spin pole. So before we get started, if you want more step-by-step -step tutorials for spin and static pole, make sure to download the Fit to Font app. I'm giving you two weeks free to check it out because I know you're going to fall in love with it. Fit to Font app is absolutely necessary for those of you ready to level up your pole game. Some tips to keep in mind when transitioning from static to spin is how to control the spin on the pole. So in static pole, we need to make sure that we're away from the pole so that we can generate the momentum we need to rotate on the pole. So spin pole is the exact opposite. So the further away you start off your spins on spin pole, the faster you will spin. So I'll give you an example. If I want to do my fireman spin right now, I'm not going to start as far away as I would if I were on static pole. So I'm actually gonna come closer so that when I take my three steps, I can slowly bring my legs up to transition into the fireman. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is that on spin pole, you don't want any abrupt, swift, jerky movements that causes the pole to spin super fast and you feel like you have no control. So I'll show you what I mean if I wanted to go from a sun kiss to a fireman, for example. So I would take my three steps. As you can see, I'm not too far away from the pole. I go into my sun kiss and I slowly transition into my fireman versus if I were to be away from the pole, take my three steps, throw my body, and then quickly try to transition to the fireman. You can see it does not look flattering, it does not look sexy. So again, with spin pole, slow and controlled movements and start closer to the pole, especially in the beginning. As you build strength and you get more comfortable, you can create more distance when taking off into your spins, because then you will spin faster. But for now, we're gonna start off closer to the pole. And don't get discouraged. I remember my first time getting on spin pole, I was just out of control and I was so sore the next day because I spent the whole training session, this is not an exaggeration, just holding on for dear life. I wasn't able to execute skills, nothing. Every time I would get on the pole, I felt like I was like this, just holding on for dear life. And even though I didn't do anything, I was so sore the next day. So I'm just saying that to say, don't get discouraged when you're starting spin pole. I promise you, if you just stay consistent, you're gonna see how fast you progress. All right, Fonters, so for this routine, we're going to start off with one leg extended, one knee bent, hand on our hip, arching our back. We're going to add a sexy head roll. Whoosh. Then we're going to caress the leg down, bring it up, and toss. So now we have our right hip up. All the weight is on the right side, so we're going to shift to left, right. Now we're going to take a step, so we're facing the pole, left, and then right. Now I'm grabbing the pole and I'm keeping my feet together to do one sexy body roll. So I'm bringing my chest, belly, roll it back, bend the knees, and stick that booty out. Remember, it don't count if the booty ain't out, okay? So now we're gonna do a shotgun. So I'm bending this outside leg, shotgun, taking one step forward and I'm going right into my wrist roll. So this is your first pole spin move. So from here, think about sniffing your armpit, keeping that top leg extended. We're just gonna grab the pole, fall back, bending our inside leg. Now to land, I'm gonna put that straight leg down, turn with the other leg so that I'm facing the pole, sticking my booty out, and I'm going into a booty clap. So I'm clapping the booty, and feel free to make this part of the routine your own style. Maybe you wanna add more body rolls, maybe you wanna add hip circles. So after your booty clap, make it your own style. So from here, we are walking into our dip. So I'm taking one step with my inside foot. I'm swinging my outside leg around. But instead of doing the dip, I'm going to bring my hips into the pole to go into a pole sit. So after my pole sit, I'm going to uncross my legs to go into a knee spin land and stick that booty out. From here, I'm extending my arm. Outside leg goes up. I'm turning backwards because I'm gonna add a back bend 
into the routine, bringing it back up. And from here, this outside leg is going to circle around my standing leg so that I can go right into my corkscrew. So I'm taking one step with my inside foot. This inside hand will go on the bottom, outside hand on top, forehead height. And I'm going to bring my knees to the pole and tuck. After my corkscrew, I'm bringing my knees down, sticking that booty out to end the routine. Fonters, thank you for watching this routine. I hope you love this spin tutorial. If you want more spin tutorials and really pretty transitions, I highly recommend downloading the Fit to Flaunt app. Check out the discussion board. It's a great place to share your progress. Even if you have questions, I'm always in there answering questions. You can upload a video. Hey, how can I make this look more fluid? Or, hey, I don't really feel like I look as comfortable in this transition. What can I do? Myself and the whole Flaunter community, we're ready to support you and cheer you on in your pole dancing journey.